Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video I'm going to demonstrate the simple steps that I follow to do EFT tapping on my own. I call this pets number tapping. So I'm a big fan of body-based calming techniques and my favorite by far is EFT tapping. I did a two-part video series that included a demonstration and explanation of how it works to discharge emotion and calm the nervous system. If you don't know anything about basic tapping, go back and watch the first video in that series before watching this one. So I think highly enough of this technique that I use it almost daily to manage my nervous system and investigate feelings that I'm having. I tried to meditate 10 minutes a day for something like five years with pretty dismal results. I'm just a little too ADHD to meditate successfully. So I think this technique has a lot of similar benefits, but it is more active engaged, which I much prefer. As I've said in previous videos, this brings together cognitive, emotional, and body-based techniques to feel big emotions and discharge them. And in so doing, gives you more compassion both for yourself and for those around you. So here is the protocol that I use, which I call pets number tapping. I put a link to an instruction sheet in the description of this video so you don't have to take too many notes. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is get out a piece of paper and you're gonna write pets number sign uh, vertically down the left side. So P-E-T-S number sign. Okay, so this is the cognitive part. Mentally investigating your emotions and thoughts serves to bring your prefrontal cortex online, which aids in emotional regulation. So just writing this stuff down can be enough to start to calm down. So P, P stands for problem. What is bothering you today? Let's use the problem, I'm upset that I lost my job earlier this week. Write that down. E. E stands for emotions. What emotions came up when you think about this problem? So make sure that you're identifying feelings rather than thoughts and the emotions that you are having right now. So feelings generally fall into five buckets. Mad, sad, glad, scared, and disgusted. So this is straight from the movie Inside Out. Don't stop with these main categories though. Try to be as specific as you can because you have to name it to tame it. Okay, so in this case, I'm angry and stressed and anxious. T, T stands for thoughts. What thoughts, ideas, beliefs, meaning bubble up when you consider this issue? Do not hold back here. We are trying to generate intense emotion, not talk ourselves out of it. Say all the awful things that you're thinking. I'm worried I won't find another job. I'm angry they didn't listen to my side of the story. I feel like a loser who gets fired from an entry level job. No one cares about me. I just can't get a break. You get the idea. S, S stands for sensation. So close your eyes and take a few moments to locate the feelings that are happening inside your body. Is your chest feeling tight? Do you feel it in your throat? Do you feel any nausea or pain anywhere? In this case, I have a pit in my stomach and my head feels like it's buzzing. And finally, number sign. This is for the level of intensity. On a scale from zero to 10, where zero is none and 10 is the worst you could possibly feel, what is your current level of emotional intensity? For this, I would say a seven. Okay, and remember, this is the intensity you are feeling right now at this moment. Okay, so now that we've gathered all this data from ourselves, we can start with a couple of setup statements. And I'm gonna show you where I pull these statements from on the sheet as I go. So what I want you to do is start by tapping on your karate chop point. So even though I'm upset, that I lost my job earlier this week, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel angry and stressed and anxious, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I feel this way, I choose to relax and feel safe now. Okay, so I used a couple of different options for setup phase phrases just to give you an idea, but you can use the same one three times or you can just say it one time. I, f I do find that by saying the acceptance statement um, at least one time is an important part of the process. So make sure it's something that feels true or at least feels like something that you can aspire to. Okay, so now that we've said the setup statements, we're gonna start tapping through the points, saying a reminder phrase at each point. So the reminder phrases are there to pump up the emotion. Remember, this technique requires you to feel the intensity of the emotion and at the same time, counter it with tapping which sends calming signals to the brain. This contradiction is the magic that eventually cancels out and dispels the intense emotional charge. Okay, let's start and go ahead and say these out loud if at all possible.
I'm upset that I lost my job earlier this week. I feel angry. I feel stressed and anxious. I'm worried that I'm not going to find another job. I'm angry they didn't listen to my side of the story. I feel like a loser who gets fired from an entry level job. I have a pit in my stomach. And my head is buzzing. Now I just continue tapping, thinking about the reminder statement that brought up the most emotion. So in this case, maybe it was, I feel like a loser, or they just didn't listen to me. So I just keep tapping through the points and bringing up that emotion until I either have another thought, um, something else bubbles up, a feeling, a thought, or I feel a release like a, a yawn or a deep breath. And at that point, I'm gonna do a heart hold, hand over hand on the middle of my chest. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. And just notice and investigate what came up. So at that point, I'm gonna record on my sheet what emerged. Maybe I have a new sensation. I don't have a pit in my stomach anymore, but I do have this tightness in my lower chest. Or maybe another thought. It's not fair that they fired me without listening at all. And I always check in on what intensity I'm at. Maybe it reduced to a five, or perhaps it pumped up to an eight. Even if just one thing changed, that's enough to take a pause and investigate. So now, with that new information, I'm gonna do a setup statement and I'm gonna start tapping. So, even though I had the thought, it's not fair that they fired me without listening at all, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay, and now, I'm gonna start tapping through the points. And at this point, I can decide to say the reminder over and over again. I can throw in some of the original phrases that still feel accurate, or I can just keep the thoughts and feelings in mind while bringing up as much emotion as I can. And again, I just keep tapping until something new comes up or I start to feel a sense of relief, okay? So here are some cool things about this whole process. Calming. It really works to calm me down. Within 10 minutes, you can go from a full-fledged panic attack to like a two or a three of intensity. Excavating emotions. It is a great way to figure out what is lying beneath some of your more intense emotions. A lot of times, sadness or fear is lying beneath anger and frustration. If you do this process for long enough, those feelings will start to bubble up and identifying and processing those underlying feelings will help to work through things and dispel those feelings and make better decisions. Nervous system tune-up. Doing this regularly tunes up your nervous system so that you can calm down more easily in the moment. Self-trust. So knowing that you can calm yourself helps you to trust that you can get through challenging and difficult emotions with resilience and strength. Give this a try and let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.